Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'd like to give you a quick overview of the Sentera AGX710. But first let me show you how I do a mapping mission. Using the mobile field agent app, which is only available on Apple devices I might add, I locate the area and key in waypoints covering the area to be mapped, which creates a standard lawnmower pattern for the drone to follow. Then I set the photo overlap, normally at about 80% front lap and side lap. This is so the stitching software can detect identical key contrast points in the overlapping photos. Then you can set the above ground level or AGL height, depending on the detail required for certain plant species. And the mapping speed is also important to individual requirements. Then I set the mapping direction to make it parallel as possible for mapping efficiency. And she's ready to go. After the mapping is complete, the images are downloaded onto the Sentera field agent software on my desktop, but that's a video for another time. So let's talk about the Sentera AGX710. There are about four different versions I think, and I have the NDVI NDRE version. I chose this version because I can capture infrared, red edge, and red light spectrum, which is more than enough for most plant monitoring situations. This camera is capable of 12 megapixel stills, where other multispectral cameras are between two and eight. The AGX710's mapping efficiency varies widely depending on the plant species. I feel for cereal crops, about 150 acres or 60 hectares per flight is achievable, but where I grew up in the wheat belt of New South Wales, Australia, it's nothing out of the ordinary to have between 2,000 and 10,000 acre farms. So you can imagine the amount of batteries you'd need. For single row cropping, such as vegetables or anything like that, to maintain detail to calculate individual plant count, you need to fly lower and slower, which can lower the mapping efficiency down to 10 acres per flight. As I said, it depends on the crop or application. The AGX710 isn't only limited to agricultural crop mapping. Although it was designed for it, you can also use it to map forestry, Overgrown disused land that is difficult to access by foot or vehicle. We used to call it tiger country. And you can probably expect a mapping efficiency of up to 500 acres, depending on the detail required. So if you're thinking of mapping plants or vegetation, the AGX710 is a great solution for medium size applications. And the amount of information you can get out of the Sentara field agent software is phenomenal. The reason why I draw attention to field agent is for $400 a year, you can process and create two dimensional auto mosaics, which compared to other software, you can pay up to $5,000 a year. Although you can't do as much with the Sentara field agent software as what you can with a program like Pix4D, it's definitely a, a lot cheaper option if you're only doing plant mapping. Anyway, that's about all I've got for you. In the future I'll be making more videos on the equipment that I have and the software that I use. If you like the video, give me a like and subscribe if you want to. And if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.